prayers to break the enemy's snares against your life. Now, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, King of Glory, I am that I am, Everlasting Father. I come unto you this blessed morning and a new day, a day like no any other, a day that has never existed till as you have brought it into existence today. A day that you have made that we should rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, I thank you. Father Lord, let this new day come also with new things in my life. Father, let the day come with new things. New blessings, new open doors, new transformations. For your word says in Isaiah chapter 43 from verses 19 to 20. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert, to give drink to my people, my chosen. Father let this be our story today. That since you have made it possible for us to see this day. Let us abound in the blessings that it comes with. And deliver us from any evil that enemy the devil will or might have released against it. In Jesus' might name. Amen. Indeed, dear Lord, it is your doing and is marvelous in my sight. Thank you everlasting Father for the blissful and restful night's sleep. A good night's sleep indeed is a blessing from you and you alone. Little wonder your word says in Psalms 127 verse 2. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lord, again I say, thank you for the gift of night's sleep. Importantly also dear Lord, thank you for the gift of life and for the salvation of my soul. For if not that you have been on my side, like the psalmist says, in Psalms 124 verses 1 to 8. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick, when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers, the snare is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Father, you keep watching over me, even when I am asleep, totally unconscious and oblivious of my environment and vicinity. Lord, for your word in Psalms 121 verse 4. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Father, you watch so that I may sleep peacefully and even slumber. Am indeed grateful to you their Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life into the new day. I give you all the glory. Let your name and your name alone be all the glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father, as it has pleased you that I see this day. Please, dear Lord, help me to glorify you with my life. Guide my words, actions, and inactions to go according to your perfect will. Guide my steps to walk and tread according to your lead and directives of your Holy Spirit. Help my mind to be consecrated and concentrate on you. So as to be quick and fast in understanding your Spirit's promptings. Help me to live a life of consecration all through this day. Let every spirit that leads my mind to wander and to crave unrighteousness be kept at bay from me. Let things that defile flee from me. Let the joy of the Holy Ghost fill my heart. Like the psalmist would say, cast not away from your presence O Lord. And do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation and renew your spirit within me. Father let your abiding presence go with me. For I submit unto you afresh dear Lord, lead me, guard me, guide me, save and deliver me from every evil. Deliver also their Lord, those under the captivity of the evil one, devil, dear Lord, lose them and set them free. In accordance with your word in Isaiah chapter 49 verses 24 to 25, which says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered, 
for I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. Father Lord, set them free from the hold of their captors. Direct them dear Lord through your holy to see refuge in you. Lord as I go out today in the search of your will and things to keep the body together. Dear Lord be my guard, be my supply and supplier. Be my shepherd. Do not allow me to lack or to be stranded. Father, go before me as you have promised. For your word says in Isaiah 45 2-3. I will go before thee, and make the crooked places straight, I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Therefore, dear Lord, go before me, open the door of favor for me. That, as I go your favor, will go with me. Making it easy for me to gain treasures and riches even as you have promised me. Forgive me dear Lord, all the times that I have acted in ignorance and without recognition of your graces upon my life. Forgive me in any way I have walked in disobedience to your word and your wills for me. Lord, I have returned like the prodigal son, ready and willing to obey you and also asking for the help of the Holy Spirit to do so. For without your help dear Lord I can do nothing. For you are the vine Lord, I am but just a branch, and without you Lord, I can do nothing. And dear Lord, search through my inner mind and root out any seed of anger, jealousy, unchastity, hatred, and craving for sin and unrighteousness. Like David says in Psalm 66 verse 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Search therefore Lord for any iniquity and cleanse me of it, dear Lord. For all that have offended me, Lord, I have forgiven, so that you might forgive me also Lord my many sins. Even as your word says in Matthew chapter 6 verses 14 to 15. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Lord, I have forgiven all to my knowledge. Therefore dear Lord forgive all my trespasses as well. Deliver me dear Lord from plots and trickery of the terrible and the enemies of good. Help me dear Lord to always be on the alert to identify the devil, the enemy in whichever form or ways he might come. For like your word says in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. I know he, the devil, has been on the parole but dear Lord, help me to always identify him, so as to resist him. Like your word says in the book of James chapter 4 verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Deliver me also dear Lord from every other evil that might have been programmed or that might be inevitable for the day. Father, let all the traps of the enemies, they have set awaiting to trap me be destroyed. Let the counsels of the enemies be turned into foolishness. Dear Lord, your word says in Psalms 91 verses 3 to 16. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him, and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. 
This I, therefore, pray unto you dear Lord. For I have no hope of help anywhere else except in you. For I have looked all around me like what David says in Psalms 121 verses 1 to 2. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Father same be unto me. Help and deliver me from known and unknown dangers, visible and invisible dangers. For all of my trust is in you, anchored on your infallible assurance in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 11 and Psalms 25 verse 2. Your word says in Romans chapter 10 verse 11. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. And in Psalms 25 verse 2, says, O my God, I trust in thee, let me not be ashamed, let not mine enemies triumph over me. Thus I pray dear Lord, in the name of Christ Jesus my Lord. I pray also dear Lord for those in authority. For I understand dear Lord that there is no authority anywhere except the ones you instituted or permitted. And your word also made me understand that I owe it as a duty to pray for them. In 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 to 4, your word says, I exhort therefore, that, first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks, be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Dear Lord, give them wisdom and cause them to rule in your fear, so that your children shall not mourn but instead rejoice and serve you with joy and liberty. Thank you, Lord, for I believe you have heard and answered me. For I prayed in the name of Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen. We appreciate you immensely for joining us in today's prayer. We share the Word of God on this channel every week and you are invited to be one of us. Here is another video titled, Psalm 91 Prayer for Protection and Strength, carefully handpicked for you to watch next. Click on the video to watch now, for we believe that it will enrich you immensely. Also, if you are new here, consider subscribing, and leave a comment in the comment box telling us you have subscribed. We will definitely respond to you immediately. God bless you.